Lars Beider and his team are cruising the waters off Exmouth in search of resting humpback whales. So we're going to try to get one of these digital tags on the whales today. If the animal rests and allows us to do so, we'll go up very quietly, place the tag uh, on, on the back of it using these four suction cups. Placing the tiny radio tag on the whale's back is no easy task. Really trying to go for about a, maybe a metre in front of the dorsal because uh, it gives good radio, high on the animal. This time the researchers have hit the spot and for the next 24 hours the animal's movements and sounds will be digitally recorded. It's part of an international study of how human activity is affecting these enormous animals as they journey thousands of kilometres south after giving birth. It's the first time that tags have been attached to calves. We can go in and evaluate whether certain sounds or activities influence suckling rates and that's uh, really um, an exciting part of this project. The team are hopeful their findings will be kept in mind when things like ports and shipping routes are being designed. In regards to potential impacts, uh, we're not there yet and we certainly want to work with the government and industry uh, in moving that forward. The research team is planning to expand the tagging program next year to target animals off the Pilbara and southwest coasts of Western Australia. Erin Park, ABC News.